These things are like tiny little meat mallets. Meat mallets. There we go. <laughs> We're making this today. We're making dino beef ribs. Smoking them on the Gravity 980. Let's do it. I want to show you something. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, look at this! Today I'm showing you how to make smoked beef ribs, dino ribs, they're the big boys, the, the ultimate barbecue feast. Took me about five and a half hours at 300 degrees, and I let them rest for 30 minutes. Without further ado, dino ribs. All right, so I am going to trim up the fat here on the top. Since there is no meat on the underside of these bones, like pork ribs have, we don't have to worry about taking off the membrane. I will trim this off just to get it out of there. And I'm just gonna, let's see here, just gonna take a little bit off the top. I'm gonna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cut into the meat and take potentially some that I don't want to. So you always wanna start off, you know, slow. I went to like four butchers today looking for these and no meat markets had them. And then I go to Publix and the guy at Publix was like, oh yeah, I got you fam. Spent an hour and a half of my day. Oh, that's a good one right there. You see that? Oh, yeah. Kind of want to pull it. Get that that silver skin has some resistance, so you can almost use it as a guideline. I'll probably leave this a little bit. I don't want it too fat. See, that's too too fat. But we want to maybe a nice little layer because there's not that much meat under this rib, so we want to protect it a little bit. Maybe if you were cooking them for 12 hours, this fat would render down, but it takes a while. We are gonna quickly season this and preheat the grill to 275 degrees. So I'm just using a little bit of olive oil as my binder. And then I've got some beef brigade. Beef brigade. <laughs> beef, <laughs> beef brigade barbecue rub. It's got uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of coffee in it. I'm gonna start on the bone side. That way when I flip it over, I don't have to do anything. Just give it a little bit of a light, light binder. All right, so this has got no meat, but we're still gonna put just a little bit of season. You don't have to go crazy here. All right, going on the top. Mm, that coffee in this smells so good. So yeah, I'm just using this Beef Brigade. God, I can't say it. <laughs> beef Brigade. Oh, I forgot to put olive oil. Whoops. Oops. Whoops, blooper. You're, you, you're really not messing anything up here. So yeah, I'm using this Beef Brigade. Link will be in the description. You can get it on Amazon. You can probably find it in your local uh, meat markets, depending on where you are located, I guess. But you can also find it in my descriptions, along with my OnlyPans shirt. We are releasing new things, so go ahead and check it out if you haven't checked out our merch website. All right, let's pat that in there. Give it a once over on each side. So we're gonna leave this on this cutting board and we're gonna go preheat the grill. Okay, we are gonna preheat the Gravity 980. Let's unbox, unwrap her. Oh, oh, beautiful. So I am going to fill this up with charcoal. You guys know the drill here. Not gonna be too much. Yeah, the Gravity 980 does an amazing job at using minimal coal to maximum time. All right, today I'm gonna be using wood chips and I'm just gonna be using a mixture of hickory and cherry. So I'm just gonna drop some in here. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna drop some cherry here. I'm gonna put some in the hopper and I'm gonna put some in the ash pan. All right, and just a little more charcoal on top of that. I'm probably only here. All right, it's been a quick four minutes and the grill is ready to be closed up and turned on. You guys know the drill, close everything up. Open up your fan. And let's turn it on. Going for 275. Should take, I would say, six minutes. Oh, 275 for a total of four minutes. That's how long it took. Four whole minutes. Four uh, minutes to get to 275. And it is gonna climb just a little before it plateaus again, just because that's how fire works, you know? It can't like stop the fire. We didn't stop the fire. Now we close. 
All right guys, we've just put the beef ribs on the Gravity 980. I'm gonna leave those there for three hours. We're gonna check on them, see what that internal temperature is, and go from there. We're looking for about 200 to 205 degrees. We're gonna keep an eye on it and stick. Stick around. Stick around. <laughs> I will keep you guys updated, so just stick around. Inside. Oh my god, I'm like pouring sweat. Puppies. Reporting live from Georgia, where it always rains. <laughs> it started raining, so you know, all I have to deter the rain. Uh, come on. This is all right. Protective. <laughs> It's been 30 minutes, I'm gonna check on it. I've got here a mixture of apple juice and some of the dry rub that we use, the Beef Brigade. Looking pretty good for, you know, the past 30 minutes. Just keeping them moist here. And just so I can keep an eye on things, I am going to put the thermometer in, the thickest part of this cut. And we're closing it back up. I'm gonna check in another 20, 30 minutes. Shut up, crickets. Damn, they really be they really be cricketing, aren't they? They be cricketing. <laughs> they be cricketing like you know, like cricket. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're currently at 162. It is in the stall. We have been around 150, 164 an hour now. I have quit basting it. I did baste it every 30 minutes for about three hours now. Now I'm gonna let it just ride out and get to that 200 degree point. So, all right guys, we have hit the magic temperature of 203. So I, we're gonna pull these ribs out. We're at five hours and 25 minutes, so. Dino ribs. And that's why they call them dino ribs. Bones are huge, meat is thick. I'm gonna wrap them up and let them rest for about 30 minutes. And of course, I don't. <laughs> you gotta be innovative. Yeah. It's what we've been waiting for. The 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 unwrapping. Let's do it. I'm starving. I know it's been a long day. Oh. I'm gonna move these off of the uh, paper here. Mm mm mm. Those do look tasty. We are about to cut in. I'm so, so excited. This is what it's all about. Beautiful smoke ring. Mm -mm -mm. They smell amazing. See how much they shrunk up since, you know, when we first started, you couldn't even see the bones. And so now they've really shrunk up there. Look at that smoke ring. I'm actually super, super impressed. Those look so good. Mm -mm. Moment of silence for this beef rib because I'm about to destroy it. Oh boy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Got a really nice bark. That beef brigade seasoning is really good. Worth the wait? Worth the wait, wherever you want. They are good. They are dino ribs, lots of meat on each rib. You could probably give one to each person. Oh that bark. That bark. Like, mm. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. That note of coffee was really in there. All right guys, that is how you make smoked beef ribs on the Gravity 980. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you like what you saw, please give me a like and a subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I love hearing from you guys. I love building this community. I really, really appreciate it. There's a fly hanging out here. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you next week. Stick around for more videos and content coming to you soon. Bye.